Ross, obviously, we've fallen to defeat tonight, but um, you know, given Wrexham's quality and the, what what we grew into in the second half, there, you know, what are your thoughts on today's performance? Uh, yeah, I did think we grew into it. Um, I think like <laughs> we, we wanted to be hard to beat to start. Um, we wanted to be be competitive and wanted to be in the game. Um, hence why. Uh, we matched them up sort of formation wise. Um, I think we got that. Like we we weren't as good on the ball as, as probably um, as we are in a four three three. Um, but in the three five two, we were competitive and we were hard to beat and we were compact and, and, and having that extra player on the back line helped us. But like I think you know, the disappointing thing, the disappointing thing, obviously the two goals come in the middle of the half. Um, they haven't ha had to do something wonderful or great. Like it's it's a set piece, it's a throw in, um, and it's a it's a missing first contact and second contact, and then obviously Mullen running in behind and uh, with a good finish. So I think that's the most disappointing thing. Um, like we haven't had Max made them work to find their goals, but like um, similar story to last week um, when we're behind, um, we, we, we're in the four three three a little bit more, going man for man out of possession, and uh, we were much 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 better, much much better. Inny obviously hit the bar right at the end there. We could have got a bit of a route back into the game. And, and I think that did kind of it really like show that we were getting back into it in the later stages, didn't it? Well, well I mean, no, no excuses. We've, we've had opportunities to get routes back into the game like 10, 15 minutes before that. So obviously Tommy's missed a chance. And um, I think we had Frank's chance, which sort of flashed across the goal. And a couple of, chance, couple, couple of times the balls fell on the edge of the box. And opportunity to test the keeper and we haven't quite done it like we've, we've probably had the two best chances of the second half bar and obviously Luca's ex exceptional save um, which is disappointing really because you want to you want to make them work for it and you, you want to put them on the back foot and see what they've got about them at 2-1 and or see what we can do at 2-1 and um, we can't say we haven't had the chance to do so like I mean some of the football we played second half by the way was very very good um, so like in terms of like progress in possession and uh, our formations our systems the players have bought into it so like that's really positive um, but yeah, I sort of like it, it, I know it's Wrexham, but I still, I still, I still disappointed. Yeah, as you say, you know it's Wrexham. You know we, we, they've got Paul Mullin, which is a quality striker up there. They also, you know, cause a lot of chaos with their long balls into the box, and, and ultimately that is maybe what we fell victim to today. Both of those things. Yeah, I mean they're like the playing, the playing like moments and. They put real intense, put you under real intense pressure, um, which can be difficult to deal with. But like we've got to deal with it. Like we've got the players too. Like we can't say we haven't. And I can't keep standing here and going like, oh, we've got this player to do it, and this player to do it. We, we we have to do something about it. And um, yeah, I think like 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 the balls in the box from the throw ins. Like we can't say we didn't prepare for it, and we can't say we didn't know it. So then there's no excuses that side. And uh, yeah, we've got to be better at dealing with first contact. Two two goals come from not winning first contact. Our first headers. So. I think that's the most disappointing thing, but like, like I said, we found a way back in the game. We've got our groove and we've kept a lot of the ball and we've moved the ball well and we've created three or four really good chances and we haven't took it. And one very positive thing towards the end is obviously Alex McAllister coming on. Uh, yeah. You know, he's been in the squad a few times now since you've come in and uh, he's finally got, you know, he's, he's finally got out on the pitch. So that's great. Yeah, awesome. Like, like, he fully deserves it. Like, we... we we bring a squad that of, of players that train well and, and, and are fit and like the, the, there's uh, if players aren't training well Monday to Friday they wouldn't be here so like uh, Alex in particular has been excellent in training and excellent adapted in the first team and he fully deserves his chance just to sort of talk and as in like go and have a go because I'm an academy manager he's a, he's a good kid and he worked really hard and like I said like attitude application in training is the most important thing so like if you've got that in our in our in our sessions, you'll be in the squad or in and around the squad, and he certainly has it. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.